welcome back. Thank you for bearing with me. I have been so poorly and bed bound. Still not 100%. It's um, I had a viral infection, like a proper chest infection. It's been on antibiotics and everything. So I do apologise. It took me so long to um, get one out to you. And thanks for all of you that have sent me well wishes as well. It's so cute of you. So um, I'm back now. I'm on the way up. Um, but those of you that do psychic readings, you know when your energies, you're not on the right energetic level the readings won't be accurate so I wanted to make sure they're 100% accurate before I get them out so here we go so we're going to do oh first yeah no first let me tell you we got uh, the charity donation to the World Wildlife Fund not the wrestling place um, it was £247.38 so that's like about $302.18 so thank you for everyone that donated with me um, I think that's pretty good I think it's pretty good um, so Onto the reading, we're going to do what's going on with them and why. Because people, um, I got a request over the last few days saying, can we have a look at more about like the why and what's actually like what's going on and why they're thinking the way they're thinking and what's actually happening. Break it down um, to the whys. So what's going on with them and why? I've got my new Brady Tarot, the ones that come when I did my last reading the other day. We're going to use these. They're beautiful. Uh, fell in love with them, I've fallen in love with them and we've also got the other, one of my other favourite decks so, number one, number two think about you, um, think about your person we're going with heart centred energy today so where your heart is pulling you, not your head where you can feel that uh, heart centre chakra pull number one, number two and um, think about them do, 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 do. Can you tell me please, can you get me into my collective energy of deck number one? So as always, as you know, you know the deal, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I dip into your energies, I dip into your people's energies, and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it. Um, normally comes up at a later date. Can you get me into deck number one's collective energy? My turnaround for readings is currently on 16 days because of the Christmas period as well. Um, so please bear that in mind when you're booking uh, 14 to 16 days at present. Think about your person. Can I get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? <laughs> it's still not right. Not left. Like Okay, can you tell me what's going on with them and their person, please? And uh, what's going on with their person and why? Two, three. What's going on with their person? Four, five. I need to get these in flower because they're a bit sticky at the moment. Um. And what else, what else, what's going on with them, and why? <laughs> My guys just went, oh, they're interesting cards. Okay, and what are the whys? Tell me why. Tell me why. Backstreet Boys. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, let's get one more. Well, the why, yeah, the whys are, um, are really, really good. So, what's happening with your person at the moment? Obviously, you are all in individual circumstances. I am aware of that. But again, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So, your person is having this period of kind of withdrawing from the situation or withdrawing from you or your feeling that they are withdrawing, whether they actually are or not. Some of that is in your fears and, and things going on there. But it feels like there is this withdrawal with the majority of you with the situation. Now, the reason for that happening is they're just going to be going with the flow of the situation, they're going with the flow of the energies. They aren't focusing on the end goal, they're focusing on where they are at this point in time. A lot of them have had to kind of, I haven't even looked at the cards, just coming through, boom, boom, boom. A lot of them have had to kind of step away from the situation because they've got other stuff going on. There are addiction problems that are being flagged up, there are also third party problems that are being flagged up, and um, also distrust problems being flagged up, that's more to do with you guys than them. Um, so they have withdrawn from the situation because of that, those are the whys as to why it feels like they have withdrawn. Some of them have felt that there has been an immense pressure being put on from you. Um, 
and they haven't known how to handle it because whilst they're trying to fix themselves and work out what they want, focusing on now, not in the future, um, they can't seem to handle your energy on top of their own. So there's been a lot of miscommunication kind of going on. So at present, they are focusing on um, all of that, <laughs> all of that. It comes so quick. It, I would never remember readings. Um, so they just talk and talk. They just use me as a channel. So there is, you've got here the Nine of Pentacles. So this is suggesting that even though they're just reassessing it, working or through trusting in the process, and you've also got the Fool, that they are going with the flow. Um, they can feel sometimes that you're squawking at them as well. Not all of you, but some of you can feel that you are squawking at them. Um, and some of you feel that you have to mother them as well. And I'm, that's probably more subconscious than on a conscious level that you want to mother them, but that is coming through with the energy as well. And they, at this point in time, don't need that. Um, you want to talk about problems or, or what has happened. You want to communicate about that. But actually, they have kind of gone into this hermit mode. They've, they've retreated from the situation to think things through. And there's a miscommunication problem on that area as well. Um, they're seeing you as quite grounded at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, the Hermit's here as well, so that just clarifies everything I said. Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, full, love it. Um, so you've got the Mother of Feathers, so this is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Um, so they can see that you are this passionate energy. A lot of them also don't want you to get misconceived ideas about what they want from you. Um, because some of them, again, I know I talk about this quite quite a few times, they talk about this kind of sexual energy between the two of you. And sometimes uh, some of you can feel that that is all you are wanted for. And that's because you guys aren't communicating about it. Um, they need this time and space to kind of assess it and come up with the solutions themselves. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's like when a breakup happens or when anything happens, like an argument, often the, remember, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated. Often the feminine energy will have this period of grieving to begin with and the male energy will be okay. And be like, right, yeah, thank God that's gone, effort off, you know. And um, so we'll be like, the female energies will be low and the guys will be like, oh yeah, it's all right. Never gender specific, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and then as time progresses, we kind of start getting our bounce back. We're like, yeah, I'm kick-ass, I'm cool, I'm the queen of swords, don't mess with me. And they start going, oh, I love you, I miss you, I want to be with you, blah, 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 blah. And so at this point in time, that is kind of starting to, this, the tables are starting to turn with that as well, Spirit is saying. So you're starting to come up and they're starting to kind of go down as your mutual energy. And this is when like the, the stepping forward can happen with the Knight of Swords. So a lot of you will say, again, you'll feel like nothing is happening. Um, but it is going to kind of take off. It will take off as time kind of progresses. So you've got to give them that space that they need. You've then got victory as the outcome of that as well. So that's happening with them as well. And why that's happening, it's all kind of to do with the miscommunication, retreating from things and feeling like things are quite overwhelming. There's again, sexual energy is also quite overwhelming to them as well. Because even though they want it, they don't understand why they want someone so much. You know, you're a siren. Or the equivalent of a siren um, and they don't understand why that pull is towards them and that kind of worries them as well not worries but worries is probably the the wrong words um, makes them contemplate it more so that's happening too um, however as things are moving forward you have your knight of swords you have your six of swords and you have the magician so movement right of passage I'm hearing as well um, Things have got, on a spiritual perspective, the spirit are saying that um, things have got to kind of happen in place at the, at the, in divine timing. So we can't, we can manifest it and we can push it forward that way. Um, obviously, watch the manifesting video. It's linked in all the public descriptions. If you want your individual manifesting plans doing, just drop me an email and we can do them. They've got a really good success rate. But there is always still going to be an element of divine timing, like especially if you're talking about unions and things like that, because there are karmic contracts. There are things that have got to be fulfilled. Nothing is ever predetermined. I always say that as well. But do remember that there are contracts thrown into your soul contract yourself so that's kind of going on as well so it's this rite of passage it's like these boxes have got to get ticked before the situation can move forward so on a spiritual postman on the spiritual perspective that's what's going on there get my poster up top um 
The other thing as to the whys, at the top you've got the truth, the star and the world. So these are really, really good. Um, so you've got the ace of, uh, ace of pentacles. You've got the star and you've got the world. So all really, really positive cards talking about new beginnings that are more grounded, that are more stable with the full moon in the background as well that is symbolising the new beginnings. There is going to be quite a bit of movement for a lot of you with a full moon. Remember that uh, those of you that are going to say is this reading timeless are always timeless. So it will be for when um, you are watching it. That's because time doesn't exist in the higher dimensions. That's how psychics work. We tap into past, present, future because time doesn't exist. So then you've got the star being on the right path in the world. And this is like this helix again. I spoke about this a few times. Um, how your energies kind of merge in the middle when you go around this helix. And it symbolises this as infinity sign. So it's kind of like you're doing this wave of coming into each other's lives, backing out, etc, etc. And it is part of the spiritual process as well. So from an earthly level, you've got all these um, conflicting energies kind of going on within their head. They've withdrawn. They're working it out. They're going with the flow. Try to release expectation of the situation. Um, send it out to the universe tell them that that's what you want and then um, try to take away try not to focus on expectation because you're focusing on expectation you're pressing pause on it yourself so remember that as well it's a bit of a mindful isn't it really it's all like blah 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 blah, blah trying to put it all into place um, but that is what is happening There's got, there is movement coming spiritually it's got to be this kind of rites of passage they've retreated from the situation they're going with the flow of it um, they are trusting in the universe as you should too. I know it's hard when everything seems to be going wrong and you're having towers and you're going having wobbles as well as towers and everything's just kind of amalgamating into one big pile of mushiness. But you're actually coming out of that now. You're standing in your queen slash king of swords energy. You're standing powerful. Um, you're knowing what you want. But there has to be a need for releasing expectation and just letting the universe do its job. Trusting in the process. Especially those of you that are in more divine connections. And that is what's going on with them at this point in time and why. So even if like you are in contact and they're not communicating with you or um, it, you're getting a little bit here and there, it's the same process, it's the same strongest mutual energy. That is what's going on with them. And that's that number one. Woo, okay. <coughs> it's a cup of cough me guts up. I'm such a lady, cough me guts up. Okay, let's do number two what's going on with them and why so can you get me into my well i'm on 12 30 can you get me into my collective energy of deck number two time stamps are in the descriptions um and as always works on strongest mutual energy between you all so we're going to all of your energies we're going to all your people's energies um and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all and um, i do get permission to do that as well i have to have permission i can't just go and dab into people's energies without permission Okay, think about your person. Can I get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes of them? Somebody say no one else can That's a. That's from a Vita. I don't know what what song it is, but it's from a Vita. It's coming in right here. just got a uh, row 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 your boat gently down the stream as well so i'm presuming this is meaning they're going gentle and it's, it's driving you a little bit bonkers okay can you pull out the strongest mutual energy between everyone um what's going on with their person and why like jerks that's what the guy just said just called them <laughs> acting like jerks he says majority of that will be the twin flames what are they acting like jerks okay so it's a the first thing that's kind of flagging up is a bit like deck one now if you just skip forward i was talking about um 
the universe and having and, and trusting in the process and things like that. So that is the first thing that's kind of coming on is coming through a spiritual level for you. So spirit is saying about having a bit of faith and trust in the process. And the reason why um, you are going through all of this is because there are lessons that need to be learned. There are longer term goals. There are contracts that need to be cleared up, especially if some of you are in third party situations. Um, there is stuff that has happened in past lives that needs to be cleared. Um, and there is this there seems to there, there feels to be this kind of constant worry that is going on um with you rather than with them and the spirit are coming in first of all to kind of say chill 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 your beans um you know it will be as it will be so it is you know so so be it so it is it's going to be what it will be um and you really need to kind of have faith and trust in that and listen to your own instinct a lot of you are getting um gut feelings about things and choosing to ignore them and spirit saying please don't ignore them please trust your gut instinct so if you're thinking oh they're going to text me they're going to text me and then suddenly they don't trust your initial instinct on that you know you're all little psychics you can all you can all do this you know so trust what you're actually getting, trust in everything that you're picking up on. Um, if they don't go through, it, through with it, it's because these kind of fears are building up within them. And these fears, what's, let's look at your fears, what's fears are going on with deck number two. Can you tell me about the fears of those in deck number two? Rejection, abandonment, um, that they're not good enough, that there is, that you, they're not capable, um, you, bleh, bleh, bleh one of you at a time, that they aren't capable of loving you in the way that you want to be loved. They're worrying about that as well. So these are what the fears are kind of coming out. Um, you're worrying that they've got secrets going on that they're not communicating with you about. Again, like deck number one, there was a problem with miscommunication going on. Um, they, I wouldn't say you're, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, there was a problem with kind of communication going on and you're struggling to both find the middle ground with it all. Um, so you've got the six of pentacles over here so two of you are you're holding both of you are holding on to your pentacles you're both like yeah there can be a way that this can work but you're not meeting in the middle to find that way of how to do it and that is what's going on as well but with the ace of cups i can see that there is true love and there is romance um they've just shown me a lucky number eight ball um it's a clairvoyant image of that so it's saying it's kind of a going with the flow of it at the moment you've got a just relax with it trust in the process trust in everything that's kind of going on and know that there are always reasons why things happen you know you think back to the crappest times in your life and you think back and you think well why the hell did that happen why did i have to go through that but in hindsight like a few years down the line you think oh my god and it all clicks in so just remember that as well even though you might feel that you're in a low spot at the moment there's a bigger perspective perspective <coughs> sorry to all of us Okay, some of your people have got children or you have got children. There's kind of that is flagging up as a worry as well. That will be a lot of you if you are third parties. Um, some of them are acting very childish. And again, the reasons for that are all those fears that I have just mentioned and not meeting in the middle. You are navigating on love. They are navigating on passion. And again, this is where the miscommunication of energies is kind of coming forward. Um, you feel that they're swimming around your head all the time and they're trying to block it out because they not obsessed I think of, of obsessed is kind of the wrong word but it can be very very overwhelming when we are it when it is a divine relationship and it's going around your head all the time you can't seem to switch off you know any normal Tom Dick or Harry or whatever you could just leave be but with this it's different and it feels different and it it, it goes in your thoughts it goes in your head every moment that goes quiet you're thinking about it um that is more the divine feminine energies remember never gender specific or sexually orientated the masculine energies have kind of got this way of blocking it out and then it kind of hits them like a, a truck you know they're just suddenly there one day and they're like yeah it's fine i've put it to the back of my mind and then bam oh you know this is what spirit is saying so that's happening with your wise as well that's what's going on with them as well um they are feeling quite they are feeling more stable within themselves at the moment and um, on another spiritual level there is energy coming up from them to be cleared to do with a lot of them and they've had some of you people have had childhood trauma not a lot some of your people have had childhood trauma and that is coming up to be cleared at present as well um so you've got the King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This is kind of navigating what I've just said as well. Um, they're trying to stand in their stable energy and kind of block things out at the moment. And you're just wanting to give them love. Um, 
and again, this is a miscommunication error. It's a merging of your energies. Your energies are getting a little bit mixed up with one another. So that's kind of happening too. Um, they're feeling stuck. They're not quite sure. They, they're feeling that they can't do right for doing wrong. And that isn't just with you. That's with regard with other aspects of the life. They can't find that why um, things have happened the way they have happened. They're doing a whole lot of life processing and a life sorting. Um, and yeah, yeah, trying to put it in. I know a lot, I say sometimes about the boxes. Now you people are trying to shut the lids on these boxes at the moment. Um, a lot of them have got boxes that don't meet. So you've got a box for love, you've got a box for work, you've got a box for family, you've got a box for kids, you've got a box for pets, yada, yada, yada. And the boxes never meet. So you'll be there thinking, oh, I want to meet the parents. But your boxes at this present time won't meet. Um, and what they're doing at this moment in time is all the, the younger bo the, the boxes that have come up with trauma or past issues in this life, more on this life than last lives, um, they're trying to shut the lids on it, um, but it's kind of coming up and haunting them as well. It's haunting them in their dreams. And it's also affected how they are as people. Like it has had aspects of its personality, uh, their personality being affected because of what's happened. Um, I'm also seeing that a couple of you, uh, a couple of them are quite badly bullied that's coming through when they were younger and that has had an effect on the self-confidence and those people twiddle their hair a lot that's just come through really clearly um and they're sad they're sad because everything's kind of got on top of them but they don't really know how to to get it out of their system other than to block it off they're trying to shut the lids on these boxes but they're trying to block it off at the same time because they're thinking that's the only way they can deal with it um you know, if any of your people do mention it to you, speak to them about meditation or crystals or if they're not going to think you're too far out, hippie and wild child like me. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Talk to them about what alternative therapies and things that you would know, like the holistic side of things, if you've got a clue about it. Only if they bring it up to you. If they don't bring it up to you, I wouldn't mention it because you're just going to piss them off because they'll be like, well, there's nothing wrong with me because they've got that defence barrier up as well. So that's happening too. Um, so they're feeling quite sad at the moment. Um, they're sad about you and them as well because, again, they don't feel that they're good enough. They don't feel that they can give you what you want. Um, some of them as well don't feel... This is more the masculine energies. A lot of them wanted to be the kind of breadwinner and the stability, which is why this King of Pentacles is here as well. They're wanting to be that breadwinner, that stability, and they can't offer you that at the moment. A lot of them can't offer you that at the moment, and that's worrying them as well. However, oh wait, we've got the Five of Swords as well. Um, some of them are actually suffering from headaches, like physical headaches. That's just come through. I just felt like I got a migraine then and some flashing lights are going on. Feeling like um, they're a shadow of them former selves, but they don't actually know who they are at the same time. You know, a lot of um, the more spiritually advanced people, we go through the crap to learn who we are. You know, I know myself implicitly, I know what I'm like, I'm a nightmare, but I know myself implicitly. Um, whereas your people, and, and you as well to some degree, not all of you, but you as well to some degree, are still trying to find out who you are. And this is going on with them as well. So they're trying to work it all out, trying to find out who they are, trying to find out why things have happened. There is a lot of reflection going on and a lot of blocking it off. And that blocking off, if you're not in communication, that'll be why. If you are in communication and you feel like they're blocking you that way and they're not talking, again, it's everything that I've said so far. Following that, once things start getting released, I've just heard April, there's movement. Again, April is your collective timing with that. Um, now, that when people are saying, can you give contact timings at the moment, there isn't a collective energy, but this is when there is movement on timing. Um, blah, 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 where there is movement, you're looking roughly around April with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. So movement towards you, making choices and decisions based on what they want. Um, realizing the kind of truth of things and pushing it forward that was when when they're going to get on their white sh white shiny horses and come sweeping in and get you um you'll be looking for a hopefully they'll come as knights in uh shining armor not I'm trying to think of a non-swear word in tinfoil i don't want to call them twats in tinfoil but i don't like that word but it's true <laughs> so hopefully be the knight in shining armor um coming towards you, they'll make these decisions, the point in the finger movement. So bear with them, bear with them. Um, they will try, once they've had this, this blocking period, once they've processed everything that's kind of coming up to be processed, um, 
you know, they, those moves will come towards you. A lot of them will be heart-centered energy moves as well. Um, the heart-centered energy is going to take longer um, for them to communicate that about you, to communicate about that to you as well, Spirit is saying. So April is the time when movement will be largely happening um, and it will follow suit from that. They're just saying, uh, don't run before you can walk. There are pieces of this jigsaw, pieces of this puzzle um, as your collective energy that haven't been slotted into place yet. They haven't been fit. So you just go with the flow of the energies. I said in debt one, try to release expectation and just go with the flow of it. If you're putting hope on expectation, you're pressing pause. Go, stay in the moment. If you, um, what did Dalai Lama said? If you're thinking in the past, you've got depression. If you're thinking in the future, you've got anxiety. Live in the moment. It's the easiest way to live your life. And have faith. I know it's hard. I do know it's hard. But have a little bit of faith in the process of it. And it'll be fine. And that's step number two. So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, thank you for all your love and support with me and my antibiotics and my bed days. I'm feeling utterly crap. I'm sorry I've been a bit delayed with you all. Um, hopefully I'm back on track now. I never get sick either. And since I started YouTube, I think I've been sick like twice. And then I had a daft, didn't I? So like three, three like booze. But you know, I'm a human too. I am a bit like, can be a bit of a machine with readings, but I'm a human too. So, you know, gets us all done it. Um, keep your energy clear. Keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on your faith. Um, one of you, sorry, just quickly. Um, one of you, you've got a silver cross necklace that is in a black box that you have lost. It is in your drawer. Um on the left hand side of the cabinet with a big mirror at the top it should be there and if it isn't there it's slipped down the back <laughs> lots of love guys bye